guys, welcome to part 2 of the Shuriken Particle System. In this tutorial we'll be going over a couple more features for our particle system and we'll be adding a couple of cool effects to it and I'll be showing you a couple of new things you can add. So we'll just jump right in and start messing with this again. So um, what we're going to be doing for this one is adding sub-emitters. So if you go and you, well it depends on which one you want. Um, when your particle spawns, you could create um, a particle effect for that. When it collides with some, like with the ground, it could uh, display a particle effect and whatnot. And on death, so when the particle fades out, it'll spawn a new one. So we'll be working with death for now. So we'll click add, and you'll see it spawns a bunch of like the default um, particles here. And the sub emitter is right down below. So if you want to go and edit it, just click right down there. It's pretty much like a brand new particle, but they'll just be, I want to say almost like a prefab for this particle. And you can adjust it however you want. So we'll go in here and let's set the speed a little higher. See, it's almost like fireworks now. You could uh, crank down like lifetime, have little sparks if you want. Little firework effects. And what we're going to do is we're going to crank this up. Actually, we're going to crank up the speed, crank up the lifetime. We want this to spread out a lot, because what we're going to be adding is a simple, let's see here, collision. And if you know what object you want it to collide with, you can, I believe, add multiple, maybe not. Um, see here. Oh yep, yeah, you could add multiple if you wanted. So if you had like a room and you wanted them to bounce off all the walls and stuff, you could do that. Um, I am not sure somehow the particle got dropped. Alright, no big deal. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select this terrain. Um, you guys will have to select whatever object you want to bounce off. So just click on the train and you notice that the particles bounce off the ground now. You can go in here, you can, you know, adjust the bounce or whatever you want to adjust. You can watch them bounce really high. Fade off. And you can adjust all these other settings that you want for it. So right now, um, we're going to do, so I'm just going to turn off that for now. Go back to our particle, and I want to show you guys another cool feature of the particle system. Just close that. Alright, so we can go into render. Um, you can adjust the different ways that the, uh, the particles are displayed. Billboard is pretty much the, uh, well, each particle spawns a, a flat plane, so no matter what direction you're facing, it'll always be facing the camera, and that's billboard. Stretch billboard. I'm, it stretches it out, and looks, yeah, that actually looks pretty neat. So if you're trying to get some kind of fire effect, you can use that. So these are pretty much all different features that you can use. That one just displays. So if you're doing maybe a ground um, particle effect, maybe uh, you have like a burst of light and an explosion on the ground, you can use this for that. You can expand it out. Or if you have anything else on the ground that you want to display. Vertical billboard. And mesh. So we'll get into mesh a little bit more. Um, so this actually spawns a 3D object instead of a 2D plane for what you want to display. So if you want to go in here and actually adjust it, there's a spear. And you got a bunch of spears spawning. Or if you even wanted to use um, like your own 3D model. So there's a bunch of different models in here that are in my game currently. And if you want to model out like a star particle or mesh and uh, make it into a particle, you could do that. 
or you can just use all these pre-made ones. Now you can get some cool effects with this to make it look a lot more 3D if you're actually um, running around in 3D and your camera's not facing a single direction. Um, it's a very cool effect to use. see here and then we can uh, we can get into rotation speed a little bit now rotation speed is pretty basic it just rotates the object at whatever speed that you want so now we have the rotating particle emitter and it's giving a pretty crazy effect right now um, you can adjust these settings to whatever you want create your own models and uh, import them put them into your particle and then if we wanted to we can re-enable this and we just have a crazy effect going on even though you can't really see anything but yeah that's part two of the particle system you guys can go and uh, mess with those different settings we'll go over some of the final features in the part three of the tutorial and then we'll probably get into the sprite sheet animation that'll probably be the fourth one so there's only a couple more left so try finishing those up and uh, yep, stay tuned.